So, it's Monday. Week seven. We have this week, and then next week we should be uh, we're finishing up this series. So, uh, hopefully people can still join us these next two weeks. Really get a foundation down for the holidays, whether you're Oh, most of us be spending it with our immediate families. Most of us have been spending a lot of time with our immediate families. Good morning, Margie and Kate. So, um, working on ourselves this week, working on compassion, working on uh, being independent of the good and the bad opinions that people may hold towards ourselves, and realizing that we are all um, one together, a family. And to do that this week, we are going to use a mantra that we have worked on for our Mantra Monday. We are going back to, because I want to finish up with Ritam, and I was going to do Ritam. I was going to use the Sutra principles with Ritam and Sat Chitananda. But Sat Chitananda is a great mantra to use for its vibrational quality. And it also helps us disconnect from the breath so we don't have to use it uh, aligned with the breaths because it's really hard to do such it. Hananda, I guess you could, but uh, for me, just the gentle repetition of this has a soothing effect on uh, not only my nervous system, but also um, helps settle my mind, particularly uh, in these um, really stressful weeks, and particularly the stressful weeks that we'll have uh, coming up and going into the holidays and, and, and making sure that we're all uh, understanding that, that we can be united as, as one, uh, one family, one country, one, as JT Chronicles says, one love, one family, one community. I stole that from him. Uh, and using this, and then hopefully at the end, what I'd like to do is read the, the sutra statements. The sutra statements, remember the sutra is kind of like uh, sewing an intention into the fabric of our being. So we read these at the end of uh, some of our mantras uh, to kind of bring out the Sanskrit in the actual words. So we have some sutra statements behind it. So I'll read the statements and then you can silently just repeat Satchit Ananda. So that is our mantra for today and then I think next week we'll close with Ritam because it's my favorite. Uh, so let us get started. So we want to find our most comfortable seat this morning. We will gently close our eyes. And let's just start by taking that first deep breath in together, holding it at the top. And exhale through the mouth. Let's do that again. A deep cleansing breath in through the nose, really let it fill up the lungs, holding it at the top. Let it go, let the shoulders drop. Make sure you are really comfortable. Just start to notice where you are right now, how you're feeling, what you're feeling, where your mind is going, what it's paying attention, how it's paying attention. As we settle into this new week, new opportunities, new choices, and we'll start to become aware of our choices. We do that by asking ourselves our three questions. So most of you know by now, we ask the questions to get a deeper understanding of who we really are instead of who we think we are. Shifting sometimes from what we call an object referral back to a self referral. And we do that by asking ourselves silently a few times each, who am I? Who am I? And we know we 
don't have the full answer to that question. We know we identify with the objects in our life. They're threads of who we are, but what happens if we start to peel back those layers by just asking it again, asking a few times each. I'll let the stereotypical answers come up, ask it again. See if something else comes up today. Who am I? And what do I want? Who am I and what do I want are directing a majority of my life's choices. So it's good to get real clear, particularly on a Monday morning. What do you want today, this week, these next few months? What do you really want to see happen in your own life? And much like our mindfulness definition of being aware of what arises, we also practice non-judgment of what arises. So ask the question, notice what comes up, and try not to judge the answers, and ask it again. What do I really, really want? is my dharma what is my purpose I spend these weeks trying to figure out what it is that we're good at what are we passionate about and how can we use that to help so figuring out our unique gifts and seeing how we can use them to help how can I help? How can I serve? Okay, we'll take a deep breath in through the nose. Really let it fill up the lungs. And let it go through the mouth. Let the shoulders drop, soften around the eyebrows, the forehead, the jaw. Let your breath go back to its natural rhythm. Let the questions dissolve. Let's turn our attention back to the breath, just becoming aware that you're breathing. And now, as you're breathing, I want you to silently start to think our mantra, Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat, Chit, Ananda. And you can say it out loud if you want. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Now keep saying it to yourself. You can whisper it without moving your tongue, your lips. Now take it all the way internally where you're just silently thinking the mantra Sat Chit Ananda. Sat Chit Ananda. So we're gonna just start silently repeating the mantra Sat Chit Ananda. even though they do have a meaning, Sat, Chit, Ananda. 
we're using it as a vibrational quality. We're not using it for, for the meaning, but for most of you, I just remembered I didn't tell you what the meaning. Sat, it's a form of ritam, satyam, is uh, truth. Chit is knowledge, consciousness. Uh, and ananda is bliss. So truth plus knowledge equals bliss. But we can let that go and just start silently thinking the mantra Sat Chit Ananda. And as you're repeating it, you've heard me say this before, but my teacher David G likes to remind me that I'm not just silently repeating it in my own mind. It's almost like after a while you start just listening for it. keeping the quality of that repetition gentle, relaxed, so I'm not forcing it either. So I'll silently bring it into my consciousness, my awareness, particularly if I notice that I'm thinking, bring it in, sat, chit, ananda. There's some restlessness, boredom, numbing out, sat, chit, ananda. I'll start judging the noise and then uh, sat chit ananda. So the goal really is to harness our attention, to focus it in on that repetition of the mantra. Even if it changes, sometimes it'll get faster, particularly if the thoughts are flooding in. It might get faster or slower, louder or fainter, may even become jumbled. All of a sudden it's like sat chit ananda. Whenever you notice any change in it, just bring it back to a more perceptible level in your own mind of sat. Chit Ananda. And our mantra really for this whole series has been to approach each meditation with the innocence of a child and surrendering to the moment. So bringing that beginner's mind to the practice of Sat Chit Ananda and not worrying too much about what's happening. We're just lightly thinking the mantra, listening for the mantra. You've often heard me said it's like the mist coming off the Charles River on a cold morning with the water still a little bit warmer and how that mist kind of just rises up. That's how gentle and relaxed we want to keep it. Sat Chit Ananda. finally part of surrendering to the moment is about releasing expectations detaching from the outcome if you've been meditating for the last seven weeks or maybe you meditating your whole life or different meditations of so many different types that you could have a perception of how you think the meditation should be I just ask that you release that expectation and just come back to the gentle repetition of Sat Chit Ananda. So 
we'll keep meditating this way. I'll keep an eye on the time. And so when you hear me ring the bell this morning, we'll still sit with our eyes still closed, and I'll close with our sutra statements for Sat, Chit, Ananda.
Okay, with our eyes still closed. Let go of the gentle repetition of the mantra and just rest while I close with some of our sutra statements. gently and silently repeat the mantra with me if you like. Imagine that you are centered and totally at peace this week. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that you are looking at the world with knowingness and peace. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that all beings, all of us, are equal. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that you are not affected by flattery or criticism. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that you're focused on the journey and not the destination. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that in your presence, all hostility is overcome by a profound wave of peace. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that you are detached from the outcome. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that a deeply profound ocean of calm exists within you and that you're not affected by any turbulence. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that love radiates from you like light from a bonfire. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that you're in love with everything and everybody. Imagine that you're intoxicated with love. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Imagine that the right answer will come to you spontaneously whenever you are confronted by any question. Sat, Chit, Ananda. And imagine that you know exactly what to do in any given situation. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Take a moment to come back into the physical space. You can do that by gently moving around, slowly moving around. And when it's comfortable, you can gently open your eyes. Sat Chit Ananda. Namaste.